Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Vashish Kapoor from CorporateBloggingTips.com and today we are going to talk about Luna Proxy. Luna Proxy is one of my favorite proxy providers and they sell dynamic and unlimited residential proxies, static data center proxy and rotating ISP proxies. So we will be talking about their products, pricing, uh, the speed test and everything that you need to know about Luna Proxy. So let's go ahead and check everything. For new users, the Dynamic Residential Proxy starts from $15 for a 5GB plan. This way it costs $3 per GB. When you buy more bandwidth, the price decreases. The most popular plan costs $225 for 150GB. This is one and half dollar per GB, which is half the starting plan's price. The dynamic residential proxies or rotating residential proxies, you get country and city level targeting. The proxy supports HTTP, HTTPS and SOX5 protocol. You can have unlimited concurrent connections. The residential IP lasts for 90 minutes maximum and has 99.9% .9 availability. The average response time is claimed by the company itself is 0.6 seconds. If you want to use high quality residential proxies and do not want to limit bandwidth usage, the unlimited residential proxy plans are the best. You still get rotating residential proxies in this proxy type without bandwidth limits. So if you have high scale usage of proxies, you can use these plans. For one day, it costs $280. Seven day unlimited residential proxies cost $900. The monthly plan is $2300 and the 60 day plan will cost $4320. Static residential proxies. Static residential proxies are basically ISP proxies and there is no limit on the bandwidth of these proxies. You can buy a specific number of proxies from available regions for 7 days or 30 days. The pricing varies as per the region and the duration of your order. You can buy one USA proxy for 7 days for just $3. Static data center proxies. Data center proxies again get you unlimited bandwidth, faster speed and enhanced performance. You can buy data center proxies for 7 days, 30 days or 90 days. From the list of available regions starts from $2.5 per IP for 7 days in some regions. Rotating ISP proxies would be my favorite choice for web scraping and data collection jobs. The biggest advantage of rotating ISP proxies is that they are faster yet more powerful. You can sustain one IP address from 30 minutes to 12 hours. The monthly package costs $25 per month and you get 10 GB of bandwidth which is $2.5 per GB. The most popular plan costs $700 monthly and gets you 1000 GB of bandwidth. The cost reduces to $0.7 per GB. To make the payment, there are several payment methods available. While my favorite method is cryptocurrencies, you can use any available method to make the payment. Available payment methods are credit or debit card, Alipay, cryptocurrencies, PayPal, local payments, bank transfer, and Google Pay. To sign up for Luna Proxy account, you can use my referral link in the video's description and the first highlighted comment to sign up and start using the proxies. Create your account and use my invite code See blogging tips. Dashboard Overview Let me give you a quick overview of the Luna Proxy dashboard. In the Overview tab, you can see concluded data about the proxies you have purchased, used and remaining data and the expiration date for the products. CD key. CD key is a unique feature that allows you to share the bandwidth you have purchased with other Luna Proxy accounts. So if you do not want to share the main account details with your team and also want them to be able to manage proxies, you can generate CD key out of your available bandwidth. 
your team then can use that CDK to add the bandwidth in their Luna proxy account and that is amazing. Talking about creating proxy list, you must generate the proxy list to use proxies with an anti-detect browser like GoLogin or undetectable.io, a Chrome extension like Foxy Proxy or Proxy Switchy Omega, or your favorite scraping software like Octopars or any other scraping software you prefer. I would prefer the user and pass authentication method to create the proxy list. To do that, go to user and pass auth from the menu and choose the proxy type. Here you can filter the country and change the IP mode from sticky to rotating. You can easily create sub users if you want to have several users and track usage per user. You get the test command to run in the terminal to test the proxy and you can copy this command uh, for future reference also and also you can choose the number of proxies you want in the list and then you can choose the format as well i prefer this format which means hostname port username password now you can see it on the right hand side in the batch generation tab you can see the proxy list now you can use this proxy list easily in your scraping bot or your entry detect browser. For speed tests, I used the GoLogin anti-detect browser and tested the download and upload speed of their proxies. As far as dynamic residential proxy speed is concerned, we mostly use it with web scraping and SERP monitoring tools. First of all, I will test the speed of the dynamic residential proxy. In Cloudflare speed test tool, I got 17.8 Mbps download speed and 3.30 Mbps upload speed with latency of 264 ms and 3.24 ms in jitter. In this case, I always prioritize the uptime and quality of IP addresses over the speed. I'm showing you the speed in this anti detect browser. However, I would prefer using it with a headless browser. Static Residential Proxy is a proxy type that I prefer to use in an entity browser. Let's test its speed also, going through the Cloudflare speed test as the standard for all the tests again, a static IP address is more stable than a dynamic IP. It doesn't change and can avoid connection interruption problems. I get a good 1.9 Mbps download speed and 23.2 Mbps upload speed, which is uh, great and a latency of 287ms and 3.39ms in Zitter. Next, talking about the data center proxy speed, the proxy type itself means that the download and upload speed is going to be better than any other proxy type. So if your use case requires a high speed connection, a data center proxy is the best choice. I get a good 20.8 Mbps download speed and 20.1 Mbps upload speed with a latency of 246ms and 2.34ms in Zitter. So now uh, let's do the speed test of the proxies in speedtest.net as well. The speed of dynamic residential proxies is quite nice. I get 39.74 Mbps download speed and 114.58 Mbps upload speed. The static residential proxy gets me 2.53 Mbps download speed and 101.36 Mbps upload speed. Uh, data center proxies are way faster than residential proxies which is why I recommend it for streaming or watching geo-logged content. The data center proxy speed I got was 67.66 Mbps in download and 89.36 Mbps in upload. So here's a comparison of speed on proxy type basis. Data center proxies win the fastest proxy type badge and all the proxy type offer good connectivity strength. Upload and download speed are also good enough to consider for regular use and scale your scraping or data collection projects. And when compared to the market leaders in a proxy market, we found that Luna Proxy offered the lowest latency after bright data, a considerable download speed to browse the web seamlessly and the fastest upload speed of all. So guys, 
that's all my review about luna proxy if you find this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to stay notified about my upcoming videos i have added all the links in the description of this video and also in the first highlighted comment so if you have any questions about luna proxy feel free to ask your questions in the comments below and all set i will see you in the next video Bye.